Hi guys, so in today's video, I am just gonna film a get ready with me. I am going to the Bruno Mars concert tonight and I'm super excited. And I just wanted to film the look that I'm gonna do tonight. I'm in kind of a hurry, so I'm gonna try to do this fast. Um, and I'm just starting by priming with the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And now I'm just gonna conceal a bit with the Kat Von D Lug It Concealer in the shade Medium 22. And I have put my hair up already because I know how hot it gets at concerts. So even though I often wanna do some fun hairstyles or have my hair down, I always end up putting it up anyways. So I can just as well do it from home. I'm just applying that concealer underneath my eye area and anywhere I have some redness. So I feel like lately I've been really into these natural looks and I feel like that is basically all I have been doing. So for tonight I wanted to do something a bit more colorful and of course now I'm in a rush <laughs> so I don't know how colorful this look will be just yet, but I do want to do a bit something fun. And which better time to do it than at a concert. So here we go. I'm just gonna put on foundation. I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Sand. And in this foundation there is SPF 15 in it, which is great since I'm gonna be using sunscreen from now on because Seems like we're finally gonna get some summer here in Denmark. And to blend that in, I'm just gonna use the ELF Ultimate Blending Brush. Okay, now I am just gonna highlight my face a bit. And I'm just gonna use the Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. I've had this concealer forever. And I think that it's really great and affordable, but I do really want to buy a vegan one next time I'm gonna purchase a concealer. So if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. I'm thinking, I am thinking about uh, buying the Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte because I have heard so many great things about that concealer. Um, and I know that that is vegan, but um, they do ship from America, so I just have to look into that a bit more because then the shipping costs are pretty expensive. But I would really like to try that at one point. I really, really like these um, face products from e.l.f. The Hydrating Primer and the Flawless Foundation just layers really great on top of each other and um, I just think that that made it so much easier to blend out this concealer and I do have really dry skin so um, I think that it looks really dewy even with my dry skin so that's great and since I'm gonna be at the concert and I know it's gonna be super super hot I'm gonna bake my face a bit because I don't want to sweat off my makeup <laughs> the second I get there because that will happen um, so I'm just gonna let that sit for a while okay so now I am just gonna bronze up my skin a bit I'm gonna be using the bronzing palette from elf and I am do I want to contour? No, I don't want to contour tonight. I'm just gonna bronze. I'm in a hurry. So I'm just gonna mix these two shades here. Those two. And I'm just gonna take my blush brush from Real Techniques. These bronzers from e.l.f. are super pigmented. So make sure you tap off the excess and go in lightly at first. Now I'm just gonna brush off that excess powder. And 
Now for the nose contour, I'm going in with this shade because that is best to contour with. And I'm just taking this small Morphe brush and I'm just lightly applying that. I'm just taking very little product at a time and just building that up and blending that in nicely. And then when I'm satisfied with the result, I just stop adding product and I start blending in. I'm blending inwards. Uh, you really want to avoid making the nose appear wider, so that's why I'm not blending outwards because when I started contouring my nose I always did it out here and that would just make my nose seem so much wider so you really want to do what's best for your nose <laughs> and avoid making it look even wider because I mean I could just have skipped the contouring back in those days because I just made myself a much bigger nose yes. um, yeah, and I am just gonna run this empty brush through my face and I'm just gonna blend everything together so there isn't any harsh lines anywhere. I think it looks prettily, prettily? I think it looks pretty naturally bronzed now, so I am just gonna stop there and I'm gonna go in with some highlighter and I'm using the Elf Illuminating Palette. I'm gonna mix these two shades here. I'm just using this highlighting brush from Real Techniques and mixing in these two shades. So these, these highlighters are pretty intense, but I am gonna layer it a bit because I'm gonna be out at night time, so I just want that crazy glow. I mean, you can definitely tell a difference. I'm just gonna fill in my brows and I'm using this eyebrow kit from e.l.f. in the shade medium. Um, I'm first gonna use this dark brown and then set it with the powder. But firstly, I'm just gonna brush through my brows. And now I'm just going to do the same on the other brow. So I just want to set the brows so they don't move at all and I don't sweat them off while I'm at the concert. So I'm just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel just so they sit how I want them to sit and stay that way. You know what, I'm just going to skip blush because I know my face is going to be red either way. So. I am just gonna go in with a setting spray because I want it to last as long as it can. And I am using the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. I feel like that worked as an extra hairspray for my hair, so. <laughs> Holding down the baby hairs. Okay, so I kind of want to do something colorful for the eyes. I recently made a lot of orders from Colourpop and three of them has arrived. And one of them is a yellow eyeliner. So I kind of want to do something with that. So I think I'm gonna keep it pretty simple on the eyes. Except for that because um, I'm in a hurry now. And I'm just gonna use what am I gonna use? You know what, I'm just gonna pop this in my crease. This shade. It's called Gingerbread and it is from Colored Rain. And I'm just gonna apply that on a big fluffy brush because I want this all over my crease. I'm using the Morphe E23 brush. So I'm just gonna apply that 
all over the crease. I'm applying this pretty messy everywhere. The good thing about me putting up my hair today is that I am in a hurry. So I don't really have to decide on anything. Um, I can just let it be. I just want the lid and the crease to be really separated. I'm just gonna apply a light white shade on the entire lid. And I am gonna be using this from the Kneaded Nude palette from e.l.f. In this shade. Just a normal white matte shade. And I'm just taking this on the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And just applying that to the entire lid. I'm literally the worst at multitasking. I always speak in between putting on makeup while I should be talking while working because I'm in a hurry, but my mind just can't keep up with all of this, so <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna apply a winged liner, which is always exciting because I'm not so good at it, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll screw up everything now, but hopefully not. Um, I'm just using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I find that this is the easiest for me to work with. Since I'm not so good at applying eyeliner, I find that this is easiest for me out of the ones I've tried. So of course I'm super happy about this liner, but not so much this. I'm just gonna tight line a bit to connect the eyeliner a bit more to the lash line. I should have lined with a black one, but I can't find it, so it'll, this brown one will have to do. It's the Mr. Bing one from Colourpop. So this I'm just applying to the upper lash line. I'm tight lining with it. Well, you can see that. See, that's why I don't talk while doing makeup. Now for the fun part. Never been used before. I just got this in the mail today. I am gonna be using this ColourPop liner in Punch, which is just this really vibrant yellow color. And I think it's super fun. And it will just do something a bit more fun for this really simple look. So this is just gonna go on the lower lash line, actually. I just wanna give it a fun pop. I am gonna tight line just a bit with this yellow just to really connect it to the, the lash line. I actually think this would look really cool with blue mascara. But I think I'm gonna keep it to black mascara today, but that could actually look really cool. I really love how blue and yellow looks together. Yeah, I actually really like that. Now I'm just gonna take that same colored rain eyeshadow, Gingerbread, and just blend that out softly below that yellow. So I have no idea what time it is. But I'm pretty sure I'm in a hurry. I'm meeting with um, some of my girlfriends before the concert. Um, so I am in a hurry now. <laughs> I can tell without looking at the watch. <laughs> I kind of feel like an easter egg, but you know what. It's all good. Now I am just gonna apply some mascara. I am using the Better Than Sex mascara. This would totally be a look where you could apply some really great and beautiful feathery um, false lashes, but I'm not so great at using lashes, I don't know, I'm afraid they'll fall out when I'm out the door. Um, yeah, I really rarely use them, but I think that they look so good um, to looks like these. But I'm just gonna put on a lot of coats of this mascara and really volumize those lashes. 
Why do you always have one eye that just doesn't work? I mean, my eyelashes on this eye just never wanna collaborate with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. But yeah, that's why I'm using this mascara. Making them look really long and thick, I think. Um, so it's almost as good as false lashes, really. I don't really know um, what I'm gonna do with lips yet. I kind of want to go with a bold color like um, violet or something like that. But maybe I should keep it more simple for the lips. Um, and I did just receive this nice new peachy color from Colourpop um, in the shade Likely. And I really want to try that one out and it would it would suit this look really nicely. And so that is it for the eyes. Okay, so what am I gonna do for lips? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? You know what? I think I am gonna try this new shade from Colourpop I just got in Likely. Ooh, that's pretty. I mean, this shade definitely goes with the look. Uh, yeah, I actually really like this lip color. I don't think I have anything like it at all. So I'm really glad that I ordered this and I ordered some other peachy and orangey shades as well, which I'm excited to receive. But yeah, I think that um, it actually works well with this whole look. Um, it can wash me out a bit, I'm not gonna lie, but um, it is fun and different. So I kind of like it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me. Now I don't have a watch on. I don't know why I'm even going to pretend. But I am going to go look at the clock. And hopefully I'm not late already. So I will see you in my next video. Bye. I've put my hair up because I always get... Wow. I kind of want to go with a bold lip like... Uh, and I kind of want to go with a bold co a color... A new one for Colourpop from Colourpop.